So when we're assessing social determinants of health, there are many different things that a patient could be in need of. Um, we have several resources through our health system to help get them the help that they need. Um, currently, we have social workers um, now deployed in our outpatient settings. That traditionally was a service in our only in our inpatient side. Um, we also have several uh, smoking cessation programs um, where patients can be referred to for assistance. So those are just a few of the ways that we've been working as a healthcare system to improve the care of our patients. The resources that are available is actually something that is always changing and growing and we hope through this movement and this change that we will be able to gather information and create more resources out there for our patients. Um, we have a process where when this is identified, we research where the patient lives and what resources are available, mostly related to their zip code and their home address and see what what criteria is needed for them and connect them to the ones that they're most appropriate for and hopefully build to find more resources out there. Obviously there's some things that are going to be bigger to challenge such as the environment in which you live. You know it'd be nice if we could just pick you up and put you in a different place but sometimes that part is not feasible. Um, but what we can do uh, for issues with transportation or um, ability to afford medications, we can set you up with programs um, to be able to help with those issues. If it's food insecurity, getting you set up with um, a social worker who can give you resources as far as uh, Meals on Wheels or food banks um, where we can try to give you things that can help decrease the impact of that social determinant health on your care.